Hey YouTube, I just wanted to take a second to uh, film a quick video that I did promise a few of my friends I'd get out here um, a little bit ago. Uh, this is just kind of a video about uh, using some basic shapes to make terrain and uh, using some basic templates to make terrain. So you see these uh, three templates here in front of me. Uh, these are all cut from aluminum. Um, I work in a uh, weld shop so it's very easy for me to get a hold of this kind of material. Uh, but this could be made out of uh, any type of thick cardboard or cut out of uh, MDF or anything like that. Whenever you're looking at mass producing terrain, it is always best to have some sort of a jig in order to knock it out as fast as possible. So that's exactly what these are. Now for this piece here, um, this is a 3 inch by 3 inch piece with a 2 inch lip across the top and then an angle cut on it. This one is uh, 4 inches long, 3 inches tall and this one here is uh, two inches by four inches and what you get when you cut out two of these one of these and one of these is this basic structure right here now when you see it it doesn't look like a lot and if one there is one thing to say I did use um, a dull exacto knife and some really really cheap foam core on this and whenever you're gonna make terrain out of foam core Always remember to use good foam core and have sharp, good blades. So this is all rough cut for some extra of this cheap stuff I had laying around. So I didn't really care what it looked like when it came out, but it's good for this example. So again, uh, this structure with this half inch lift along the inside that you see here um, stands three inches tall. And it has this nice look to it. And just to kind of give you a heads up as to the height. We're going to kind of come down here like this, put a miniature in there. So you can see that it does have some nice some nice height to it. And the walls are sturdy enough to have miniatures stand on the top. So this being 28 mil Warhammer, this being a uh, Prime Seamus for 32 millimeter uh, Malifaux, just to kind of give you some, some idea of how they work. So for Malifo, this would be considered oh about a height three. So and then uh, a true twenty-eight mil scale, which is uh, your Infinity models. So that way you could see these here. Now the cool thing about this piece is when you look at it, keep in mind this again goes back to using basic shape. Um, there's a lot you could do with this, and uh, making multiples of these actually will help design a couple other pieces of terrain real fast for your tabletop and I'll show you how that works. So besides adding any extra bits to it like doorways or pipe work or texturing the outside, taking this basic shape, you can actually set you know two, three or four of these together like so and you end up getting basically a defense wall just to uh, kinda throw a couple miniatures in here just to show you so kinda get a defensive wall that you could use for your games and then uh, if you take two pieces and flip them around, again, this is uh, just using very basic shape here. Obviously, you'd want to have something to seal up the seam, but you now have a building or a bunker that you can use for stuff. So I'll turn it sideways here a little bit so you can see it. And the cool thing about this is, is it is actually tall enough to hide a tag behind for Infinity. Or any of your height three models for some of your bigger war games out there. So this is uh, an example of two of them pushed end to end, basically giving it a rooftop as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this one step farther. So that's two of them. And then of course you could always double it up, making a larger building by putting. Sorry about the shaky camera. Putting four of them together like so. And then one step farther, if you were to make a just basic flat roof piece for this top, what you could do at that point is with six of these to give yourself a nice tall building, especially with this shape for a lot of your futuristic games. You have a nice tall building for games like Infinity where now you have a lot of height. So kind of backing this off, I'm going to put the tag down along here and I'll use some of these other miniatures that I pulled out here just to kind of give you an idea of the height. So throwing the Terminator Chaplain over there, 
again just showing basic height here that uh, you actually do have quite a bit that you could do with these basic shapes and this is just uh, from six of the basic walls that I had cut out that you can see you can actually make a pretty decent sized building um, if you guys have any questions about how I did this technique it's very basic but uh, if you have any more questions about how I made the jigs or um, anything along those lines feel free to contact me uh, that is it for now, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.